In this video, we will go over simple ergonomic adjustments and probe handling techniques to minimize the risk of pain while scanning. Capturing ultrasound after ultrasound can cause a lot of strain on your wrist, arms, neck, and back if you are not correctly positioning yourself and the ultrasound system. First, you want to sit next to your patient on their right side. Bring the ultrasound system close enough to you so that you do not have to stretch or reach. Lower the system so that the screen is at eye level to prevent any neck strain. Now that you are in the correct starting position, you are ready to begin scanning. On your ultrasound probe, locate the indicator. This may be a notch, bump, or even a color marking on the probe. Knowing where your indicator is, is critical to capturing an echocardiogram. When holding the probe, you want to hold it like you would a pencil, loosely with your thumb on one side and your second and middle fingers on the other. Make sure to grip the probe close to the face for added stability and increased control. This will allow you to make large and small movements. Each cardiac window requires a slightly different grip to obtain a clear image. For the parasternal window, hold the probe like you would a pencil, close to the face with your thumb on the top of the probe and your pointer and middle finger on the side. For the apical window, keep holding the probe as you did for the previous view. For the subcostals, we use an overhand grip. Grip the probe close to the face with your thumb on one side and the rest of your fingers on the other, mimicking a scooping motion. With the proper hold on the probe and your indicator located, you can start scanning. To begin, point your indicator as directed by the guidance software. In this example, you can see that the static guidance is informing you to point your indicator towards the patient's right shoulder. Notice that I am not changing the grip on the probe. As I continue to scan and need to make fine movements, I will plant the side of my hand to prevent sliding and to give me more control to make fine movements while trying to optimize the image.